And now to a one and only exclusive, a man selling two ATVs to people he assumed were legitimate buyers. It wasn't until he deposited the cashier checks after the sale that he realized he was duped. Local Tennis Roy Ramos is joining us live from Southwest Miami-Dade with a closer look at the surveillance video you need to see. Roy. Louie, and unfortunately, this is not the first time we've reported on this type of crime. So if you happen to find a buyer online and that buyer shows up with a check, you may want to listen to this report because you may be the next victim. 6500 and 8500 What Mike Aguiar thought was going to be a legitimate sale of his two ATVs turned out to be anything but. In total, it was at uh, 15000 That's what it totaled at both checks. It did set me back. Aguiar tells me he first posted the ATVs on Facebook Marketplace and got what he thought was an interested buyer. That's when he said a man and woman showed up to his home in Homestead with this U-Haul truck. So she moved the U-Haul truck over here, facing that way, and the back end was right here where the palm trees are. Home surveillance video from a neighbor shows one man test driving the four wheelers up and down the street before Aguiar and a friend helped the couple load them into the truck. Not long after the two take off, but it's when Aguiar went to deposit the cashier's checks. Uh, the bank called me and said I had to come in, and they thought I was doing fraud. Fortunately, he was able to reopen his account after filing a police report, but by then, his vehicles were gone. Hopefully, we get to catch these guys. If the crime sounds familiar, it's because it was just last month we told you how this man, Alexander Polina, was arrested after providing a $12,000 fake check to steal a jet ski from a Pinecrest resident. While he was caught, Aguiar is hopeful others don't make the same mistake he did. His advice? Cash only. It don't matter if they're old, young, whatever they look like, you know, um, cash only. And we did get a chance to reach out to Miami-Dade police who say that if you are making a transaction involving a check, do it at a bank to make sure that that check is one legitimate and make sure that it clears or just conduct these type of transactions at a police department. In fact, they encourage that. Meanwhile, if you recognize anything from that video that you feel can help those investigators, you're urged to contact Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers. That number, 305-471-TIPS. For now in Southwest Miami-Dade, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.